Dana here again. Welcome back to So Learn Create. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button and help my channel grow. Also, if you click the bell, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Today's project is a tissue cover. It holds a package of tissues, but on the back, it has a pocket, perfect for chapstick, nail file. They're easy to slip into a purse, backpack, or briefcase, and they make a great gift. So, let's get started. For today's project, you're only going to need a small amount of fabric. You're going to need two pieces for your short pocket, two pieces for your long pocket, one piece for your back, and one piece folded for your pocket on the back. This tissue cover is made for the Dollar Tree tissues, and so if you get bigger tissue packets, you might need to adjust your sizes slightly. The sizes are the small pot, the small folds are three and a half by three and a half inch square. The long folds are three and a half by five. Your back is also three and a half by five, and your pocket is three and a half by seven. So let me show you how you're going to fold it and put it together. You're going to take your back and lay it face up. You're going to take your pocket, fold it in half, and finger press it so you have a nice crease here at the top. You're going to lay your pocket on the back with the right sides facing up. Next you're going to fold your four front pieces. You're going to take your three and a half by three and a half inch squares and fold them in half and give it a finger press. You're going to take your long sides and you're going to fold them like what I call hot dog style. So you're going to fold them with the long edges together and give it a little finger press. We're going to lay this out similar to the fabric coaster that we did a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to take our back right sides up. We're going to take one of our short sides and we're going to put it so the open side, the raw edges, are to the outside. We're going to take one of our long sides and lay that on top with the raw edges on the outside. The reason for that is when we turn it right side out, then our folded pieces are in the center and make it nice and clean edge. You're going to take your next piece going to lay it, whoops, got it wrong, again with the folded part towards the middle and the raw edges out here. And then the same thing with your other side. Now this is where you will need to come back and kind of fan or fold your fabric so they make kind of a, a pinwheel pattern. So this one is underneath so that one needs to be, this one's on top, sorry, that one is underneath the short piece. Then it's over the top here, and this one is underneath. So if you look, you should have something similar. Let me get it turned the right way. So that your long pieces go under one side and over the other side. Then we're going to take and we're going to use our wonder clips and we're going to clip this all in place. Once I get it clipped, I'll head to the machine and show you how to finish. So now we're almost ready to sew. I've clipped my tissue cover all the way around and just like the fabric coaster, I'm going to do a quick check to make sure that my back and my pocket are correct. So if I do a little peek, 
I see my pocket and my backing fabric are face up. So I'm going to lay everything flat and we're going to start stitching. We're going to stitch all the way around, not leaving an opening because our opening is here in the center with our folded fabrics. I like to start in the middle of a long side, not in a corner. It just keeps the fabric from catching in the bobbin and is a little easier. I also like to use my quarter inch foot and it keeps gives me a nice guide and it's nice and straight. Whoops. Try not to unthread your machine. Okay. So we're going to start here in the middle and we're going to stitch all the way around. The only thing you need to watch is when you come to your folded sections, be sure that they're under your presser foot and don't get turned back. I'm going to go to my corner with my needle down, lift my presser foot, turn my fabric, and keep going. This is what I mean when you don't want to make sure that your corners don't get folded back. So I need to pull my presser fit up, tuck that under. Go to the corner. Need to go a little further. Lift and turn. back to my stitching and I'm just going to stitch over where I've started. <clears throat> Do a little back stitch and we're done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my corners. But before I do that I want to turn it over and I want to make sure that my stitching caught my back and I didn't slip or, or uh, slide on me. So I always like to check that before I clip my corners. I'm going to clip my corners across, making sure not to clip my stitching. It's a little tricky because you are going through multiple layers of fabric, so just do it slowly and carefully. Last thing is, we're going to turn it right side out, starting from the center. When I teach sewing classes, the girls, the kids always think this is magic when we turn it right side out and it all works. I'm going to use my chopstick, gently poke out those corners. You have to kind of work at it because you are dealing with several layers of fabric, so it's a little tricky. Make sure your um, sides are laying flat. Just poke them out. Working gently to do that. So there's the front. There's our pocket on the back. And the last thing you do is just slide your tissues in. Now I will tell you when you have a, a packet like this you want to make sure that the flap is towards the top and when it's a full package you kind of have to work at it a little bit to get it in there. But you don't want it too loose because when you start taking tissues out then you're, it's too loose and your tissues fall out rather than pull out. 
And as you can see, sometimes it gets caught. Almost. And our tissue packet is done. Then you can just reach in there, pull it open. Maybe. And I kind of pull these down a little bit. And sometimes I'll even take and split that a little bit with my scissors so that those tissues pull out a little easier. And your tissues are ready to go. Thanks for joining me today on So Learn Create. Again, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel and help us grow. See you in the next video.